0.083 repeating. And notice it's just the three that's repeating. And what students sometimes get confused by is, what do I do with the 0.08, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna just separate out the 0.08 for a moment. So just write this as 0.08. And what we're really interested in here is 0.003, okay, plus, because remember this keeps going, 333, three, three, okay, this the next term is gonna be 0.003 plus 0 0.00003 dot dot dot. Okay, so you can see this is a series because we're adding the terms together. We're just gonna ignore this 0 0.08 for a moment. We're just gonna work with this part right here and then we'll add it in at the very end. So what you can see is that each time, what are we doing to get to the next term? Well, we're multiplying by 0 0.1. Okay, 0.1. In the next term, same thing, we're multiplying by 0.1. So whenever you move that decimal point, you know, one to the left, that's like dividing by 10, that's 1 tenth, which is 0.1. And this 0.1 is the R value, that's the ratio, okay, in a geometric series. So since this is going on forever, okay, it's an infinite geometric series, and since the ratio is in between negative one and one, okay, we know this is gonna converge, it's gonna get smaller and smaller, it's gonna approach zero. We can add up all these terms using the infinite geometric series, okay, of the sum formula, okay, which is a1 over one minus r, right? So the first term is 0 0.003. So 0 0.003 over one minus 0 0.1, that's our ratio. So if we simplify this, we get 0 0.003 over, okay, 0.9. Now you can see this is still uh, decimals here. We wanna convert this into a fraction. So let's see if we can get rid of these decimals. Let's multiply the top and bottom by 1,000, okay? And so what that converts to is it's gonna be three, because we're moving the decimal three places, and this one we're gonna be moving it three places, so that comes to three over 900, which equals one over 300, okay? But we have to add on the 0 .08. Now 0 .08 is really eight hundredths, okay? So we have to add this to eight one hundredths, Okay, and if we multiply the numerator and denominator by three, because we're trying to get common denominators, you can see we get 24 over 300 plus one over 300. This is coming out to 25 over 300. Now we can re reduce it down even further. We know that uh, 25 goes into uh, 300 how many times? 12 times. So this is gonna be one 12th. Now what I recommend doing is just checking, just go to your calculator and just see. So one divided by 12 is 0 0.083333 repeating. So 